everyone. We have a very exciting show today, and we also have a very special guest with us today. Please extend a warm welcome to Miss Lindsay LeBrun. <laughs> nice to have you here, Lindsay. It's so nice to be here. So, Lindsay, you're a student at the University of Ottawa? Yep, I'm in my fourth year majoring in communications. Now, I heard that you, you took a really interesting class this semester. Can you tell us what it was? Yeah, for sure. So I took CMN 4170 and it was with Dr. Strangelove. The class was Social Uses of New Media. I heard that you read a lot of articles. Can you tell us a bit about some of those? The majority of articles focused a lot on the negative aspects of social media and technology. So things like uh, technology facilitated sexual violence, sharing of non-consensual and unsolicited uh, sexual images, as well as the emotional and psychological toll that using social media can have on a person. Whoa, that sounds like some really heavy stuff. Yeah, there was a major focus on all of the negative aspects of technology, but I think it would have been nice to also mention some of the positives as well. Social media and new technology have created a lot of opportunity to connect people all over the world and accomplish a lot of really cool things. Uh, so including some information on the benefits of social media would probably be interesting and beneficial for future classes. Oh, I see. Interesting. Were there any articles that really stood out to you? Yes, there were two that really stood out to me. So the first was called Fatal Distraction, and this was about multitasking. And the second one was Media Archaeology of the Creep Shot. The Creep Shot? <laughs> Yeah, the creep shot. I had never really heard of creep shots until I read this article. So apparently there's this trend on social media where you try and take photos of women's skirts and then you post the image with the hashtag creep shot. Um, they even make special hidden cameras for your shoes that make taking these pictures easier. People really do this? Mm -hmm. Apparently they do. I even looked up the hashtag on Twitter, and there is a disgusting amount of these posts. Um, I never even knew that this existed. That sounds really disturbing. It is very, very disturbing. Um, the art other article was totally different, and it was talking about multitasking. So apparently students are attempting to multitask more than any other generation in the past 70 years. I'm not really sure what was happening 80 years ago. Maybe they just don't have data on it, but uh, it does make sense. For sure, people have the telephone glued to their hands. Exactly. And would you say that you're good at multitasking? I would say that I personally am very good at multitasking. Well, I hate to break it to you, but uh, multitasking is a myth. While a lot of people would claim that they're really good at multitasking, it's actually impossible to multitask. Completing two cognitive tasks simultaneously, it's just not physically possible. You think you're dividing your attention between two things, but really you're just shifting your attention rapidly. So you're not completing both at the same time. So I just lied on national TV. Yep, <laughs> it actually takes a lot longer to complete tasks and you end up completing them with a lot less accuracy. So it's better to just put your phone down for an hour and get some quality work done. So those two stuck out for me because I learned two completely brand new things. Um, the other articles that covered social media use were interesting as well, but because I'm a millennial who uses social media every day, um, a lot of the concepts were just validating things I already know and experience. Uh, I really liked attending the lectures because we were able to participate and say whether or not we agreed with the articles and provide our own input. Uh, I know that men and women use social media platforms differently. I know that cyberbullying is a big issue and I know that women get harassed by men on social media. The list goes on. So the articles just backed up. What do you already know then? Exactly. It sounds like you've covered a lot over the semester. Anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, so we read so many articles about harassment targeted towards women, on, uh, not just online, but in the real world. So to all the ladies out there, don't let some loser behind a screen get you down. Uh, that's it. Amen, sister. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, uh, Lindsay. It was such a pleasure to have you with us, and uh, best of luck with, with the rest of your studies. Thanks so much, Luke. It was a pleasure to be here. Nice to have you.